Hey, you're watching Fat Man, you dingus. Whatever he said. I am so freaking sick of this whole sassy man apocalypse bullshit. What is a sassy man? And why do I feel insulted? Girls, girls, were we not just the ones who collectively got together and we agreed, we were like, man, I cannot stand it when they're so fucking nonchalant. I can't stand it when they're not expressing themselves. It's like, oh. Most men don't express themselves. Most men are nonchalant and just content with life. Not every guy in the motherfucking world has to be emotionally available and open. You can be emotionally open to him. He can just kind of be there and to comfort you. It's what we do. We're men are supposed to be emotional rocks. We're supposed to hold it the fuck down. We're supposed to be intelligent enough to hold it the fuck down. We're supposed to be stable, right? If we're unstable, erratic, emotional, things fall apart for us because that's just that's just how it is. That's life. Look, outside that fucking door, there's a whole lot of life. And a dog but there's life outside of that fucking door. Now, don't get me wrong. You want to be emotionally available, fine. But if a guy can't just be like, uh, sex, uh, video games, uh, sports, then you're not the person for him. I'm not saying this to hurt anybody's feelings. It's just the truth. But let's continue. Uh, sex, uh, sports, uh, video games. And then you're like, okay, but like, how does anything in life make you feel? And they're just like, what's the point? I like sports. It's amazing. It's my adrenaline pumping. I like video games. It's amazing. It's my adrenaline pumping. I love sex. It's amazing. I love to be inside you and get to my adrenaline pumping. <laughs> like, it's simple. What does life have to do with everything in life I just named is my life? Like, the fuck? I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to vibe. I thought we all agreed that we hated that shit. We, women agreed to this when when the fuck did all the women in the world unite and become the women's movement of we disagree with men on everything oh, sounds like a typical wednesday that we hated it we were all like we'd like to have a world where men have more like layers where they could feel comfortable enough to talk about shit like sadness and longing and jealousy and just pain and in general we're all saying that we had all agreed on that so what we all no honey you think you all did. It's the comment section you're in. It's the raw world you're in. It's your mental you're in. You all did not agree on that. You all did not, stop saying all, right? You're putting all women in a fucking cluster and saying this represents us. Like that's, calm down, right? It's like a, it's like a girl I had an argument with way back in like 2020 when the COVID shit hit hard, right? She was like, oh, toxic masculinity. And she said a whole bunch of bullshit, which she had no idea what the fuck she was saying. And I immediately looked at her and was like, you don't know what you're saying. And you're just saying it because it's buzzwords. And she looked at me and said, no, you don't like women. And I was like, you called me an incel one day. Like, are you an asshole? Like out of nowhere. And I told and a lot of people at my job looked at her and was like, you're pretty fucked up for saying that. And my brother who was even working with me was like, she's fucked up for saying that. So it's very, very reassuring that when you say all men are trash, you're putting all men, your father, everybody in one cluster. When I say all women are trash, I'm putting everyone in a cluster. When you say we all agreed on this, no, honey, you and you only. So tell me why recently this whole new trend is going on and if a guy comes up to you and then he's just like, you know, I'm actually feeling really, really bad about that. Um, that that thing that happened the other day, like that made me feel really, you know, underappreciated. And I feel like I'm putting a lot of effort into this relationship and I feel like you're not doing as much or whatever. And instead of being like, oh my God, I am so sorry. I didn't realize. We're all like, oh my God, you're being so sassy right now. Because there's a reason for any of that. And I'm gonna show you reason number one. When's the last time you cried? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you trying to cry now? No, I lost my best friend this year, so it's still been a hard thing for me. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Like you made me think about it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. sorry. We're here oh. for you. Oh my god. Oh, oh, we're here. Can we give him a hug? Wait, yeah. is that allowed? Can we get, give him a group hug? Oh my god. <laughs> group hug? I'm so sorry. It's fine. <laughs> I feel so bad. Get the so bad. tissues. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. It's hard. I'm not going to joke. Yeah. Oh my that was my brother. Oh. Oh. 
Damn, whose question was that? No, <laughs> sorry. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let's get to the part that matters. Okay, so number one, I He's last. The guy that cried is last. Said he should be at the front at the beginning. Number two, um, he's very attractive, but he knows it. Number three, he's last. funny. I said I like funny guys. Vibed with his looks and his personality and um, his job. Definitely someone I'd actually be interested in getting to know outside of this. I really didn't agree with a lot of his views on stuff, which is fine, like you do you, it's just not for me. And then I was just like mildly uncomfortable, which is nothing against him. He cried. These bitches is bitches. This nigga, oh, he thought about his best friend after bro next to him talked about past lives and shit, and he cried. The fuck? <sighs> yeah. Number one. He's last in everyone's board. Number one. He's last in everyone's board. Has energy in line with like men that I'm usually attracted to. And number two, I really think he's very interesting and cool in a way that's not someone that I would usually be attracted to, but I am. And then the bottom, it's not like I dislike anyone. I just, I'm very disinterested in a lot of people. Because <laughs> he cried. And so I- Number one. He, all right, at least he's number four on her list. I won't get annoyed. Number two. I like the quiet. I like when, you know, men don't have to interject or talk, you know, steal the show. Number four, um, I really appreciated his honesty and vulnerability. We have West. LG. At yeah. See? Seven points. He's, 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 uh, he's number five. This man opened up and cried, and all of these women immediately rejected him. When's the last time you cried? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you trying to cry now? No, I lost my best friend this year, so it's still been a hard thing for me. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Like you made me think about it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're here oh. for you. Oh my god. Oh, oh, get the tissues. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. Oh, it's oh, hard. Oh, 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 the energy changed in the room. The energy definitely changed in the room. It's getting a little awkward. Shit. That was my brother. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, it's quiet. It's awkward as fuck right now, isn't it? Yeah, whose question was that? Yeah, <laughs> y'all up. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Just like mildly uncomfortable, which is nothing against him. That's why you do not cry in front of women, bro. You don't do it. Now you're fifth place. For anyone that realized why men don't open up, that's exactly why we don't open up. He became fifth and then fourth in somebody else's list, or maybe two people. You don't cry for that type of shit. You don't do it. You're gonna, he's going to be on everyone's fucking list last. And he realized that after he fucking shed a tear for his dead homie. These bitches is cruel. Oh, uh, number five. It just, you know, the, the energy just changed. Bitch, I cried and showed emotion. Uh, I, I could not have been on that stage. I would have given most of them an attitude. Like, yo, suck my dick. And she would be like, what? I'm like, suck my dick. Fuck out of here. You picking these? No offense to these, no offense to my niggas, but you disrespectful. I got 100% on top of that. So most men don't want to show emotion. There's a reason. That's the reason. We will never be free. We will never be free. We will forever be locked in these chains. You guys do realize that in the ideal world where like there's like a lack. Ideal world. A, a world that is ideal. A world that does not exist. A world that you have created mentally. Get the fuck out of here of toxic masculinity there are going to be a lot of men being pretty sassy all the damn time stop saying sassy just saying a little bit of emotional a little bit pissed grumpy cranky ass niggas a grouch that's all you got to say it don't got to be sassy sassy is for the gay niggas for the women women are sassy gay niggas are sassy men are not sassy men have attitudes Men are rough. Men are dickheads. Men have fucking issues. There you go. Fine, right? Because there would be like no social stigma against a man just being like, I'm sad. I want to fucking cry. <laughs> yeah, that shit hurt my feelings. That would be normal. That would be normal in the ideal world. But it's not normal. The only time a man is crying 
with you is if you stood by his side, you had his back, you respected him, and you held him down through everything, thick and thin. And even then, he's probably going to shed a tear for something stupid. Or if he cares about whatever happened in his life, he'll shed that tear. Because sometimes you can't have all the fucking burden on your shoulders. Just you can't. But for the fact that you're just like, oh, just cry. No. I know I would ever see the day where I would come on this app and defend men. You have me on here defending men. How are we ever going to have a world full of Allens if every time an Allen does as an Allen does and just expresses themselves, we're just like, ew, that kind of gave me the ick. At first, I thought Sassy was like this new, still little internet way of being like, oh, like he's being weird or he's being like annoying or whatever. But like, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Sassy's supposed to mean he's being overly expressive of his emotions. <laughs> Just say he's being emotional. Just say he's being too much. Just say you're doing the most. That's it. That's what men say to women all the time. You're doing the most. I thought that's what you wanted. Was I wrong? Was I wrong? Was I wrong? Y yes. Did, did we, did we, were we actually like, you know what, actually, that toxic masculinity shit, fucking with it. Like, were, were, were we actually there? And I just, and I was just back far behind and I just didn't know and I didn't when it comes to the toxic masculinity train, ladies and gentlemen, you don't know what you want. Women honestly don't know what they want. Oh, your girlfriend could tell you today, the chick you're talking to could say today, hey, you want to go out and grab something to eat? I'm not really that hungry. Ah, right, yeah, let's just go out though. You go somewhere, you get some food and you get her something and you give it to her. She's like, well, I'm not hungry. You're like, okay. And you eat your food and she's like, well, I'm hungry. So there you go. Women don't mean what they say. They never really do. Do you, um, you want a man to be sassy? You don't want a nigga to be sassy. Because look what just happened when a man cried. He got obliterated. He got obliterated. And that was a cool ass nigga. He's like, yo, my homie gone. And he cried. Knowing the next ranking, he gone, hell them bitches. Fuck out of here. So you're telling me that man cried, showed emotion, and oh, he's sassy. All the women got turned off. Their pussy fucking dried up like a sewer. And that's not every woman. That's some women. Most women who would it? Oh, the one girl that hugged him, hugged him respectfully. But he was still on number five on the list. <laughs> let's, let's just put it to an honesty. You can't let, you can't say women want this and then next thing you know, when they get what they want, it switches up. Don't ask men to be vulnerable when you make fun of them. Don't ask men to be open when you reject them. Don't ask these things because men will listen and will get destroyed. I've learned this one thing in my entire life, living with women, growing up around women, even men, we all are different, not Every woman is the same and not every man is the same. That's what makes us different. That's what makes us equals. If we come together, my differences, your differences, they balance each other out, we're equal in that level. My attitude, your attitude might be different. I might be mad at something that you might not be. But the fact that emotionally I'm a little more stable and you're not, but then at some points I become erratic or pissed off, but you're stable... That's the balance in life. Men get frustrated. Frustration is in everybody, but the fact that you want us to be frustrated and openly screaming and yelling doesn't do anything. It doesn't do nothing for you. It's, that's just it. It does nothing. So stop asking for it, because when you get it, we just seen what happened, exhibit fucking A, rejection. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and those vibes. Peace and I'm out. Shit. Shit. Yeah, been on drum. Yeah, been on drum. You real niggas gonna stop acting like, like my shit ain't the grill. Like my shit ain't the grill. Here's the last Some one. Some of you niggas get your front teeth for grills. And I ain't talking about the, the contract. Freaking, the contract. Right. We ain't loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin' nigga, all them niggas Fallin' like all them niggas Talkin' shit, I saw them niggas Now they daughter want a picture, rough ain't it? Fuck famous, yeah, niggas too real, got the most haters Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry How we feel to be golden